Rivalries, the driving force in sports, the source of timeless classics. Spanning generations, defining their time, and within, the games evolve. New chapters are written, new heroes emerge, but the lines never change. It's Rivalry Week 2006. There is just something magical about this rivalry. There's a steal by Doherty. Here comes uh -oh. Michael. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Where they will take it in. Leitner down the lane. He missed. It's over. And Carroll, it's over. It's over. Here comes Ricky again. Oh, oh. Stackhouse. side are you on? <laughs> Wallace has three turnovers already. Reddick around a pick. Off balance and he knocked it in. How did that go down? How did that go down? He went down as the ball went down. He landed on the floor at the same time it hit the bottom of the net. Well, what a game of Virginia Tech. Turned it over 25 times. Look at him come over to curl move. I mean, he's kicking. He's falling down. And it still goes in. Benny Green's really played well lately. He's going to put it up. Sheldon Williams will rebound the outlet to Reddick. He's had double figures in three of his last four games. Wallace, he actually got a screen from a North Carolina player and he knocked down the three. I mean, he shot that from Dora. They didn't switch off. Two North Carolina players ran into each other. He used it as if it was a screen and buries a three. His 86th of the year. About how to guard him, he said essentially this. It's a heck of a lot easier guarding him when he doesn't have the ball. Make sure you're there on the catch and trail screens well. We'll see how it goes, guys. Well, there's one little problem. Jackie Manuel had those long, long arms. You know, you mentioned David Thompson. If I had to pick the five greatest players of all time, as far as I'm concerned, David Thompson would be my small forward, Lou Alcindor, my center, Larry Bird, Oscar Robinson, and Jerry Rust. Ooh, I think I can win some games with those guys. Not bad, huh? <laughs> coach Nestle, I'd like to see you coach those guys. Give them the ball and say play. Go yeah. ahead, just roll it out there. Duke oh, by six is. and Reddick with a steal. Frazier made the mistake, Reddick made him pay. Reddick crossover dribble goes baseline, has it knocked off the glass, it's going to be goaltender. He's really learned how to attack the basket, put the ball to the floor, came in as a freshman, he's developed incredibly. He's shooting less threes now in his senior year. Take a look at the crossover dribble right now. Watch this for young kids. Has it changed the direction? He has worked so hard on becoming a complete player. JJ, four out of five. He's on a 40-point pace, if you're curious. He's got 11 already. Remember, this Duke batch of seniors had to take over for guys like Carlos Boozer and Mike Dunleavy and Jason Williams. So they felt this, but now they're the top dogs. Well, They're not chasing the top dogs. You know, and then guys like Charlie Hill and Hurley and Leitner and the beat goes on. Barry A, Jason Williams, deep. You got to be a threat out there. You see the development of Sean Dockery shooting the ball. I will guarantee it. Apollos will improve in that area. Reddick with a steal and he goes in and scores. Nice job by JJ stepping in the passing lane from out of Roanoke, Virginia, where they also produced. Twins by the name of the Barbies, Tiki and Wanda. Over. Have 14 turnovers. It's turnover city, man. I love Apple turnovers. <laughs> Coaches don't like those turnovers. Reddick over Miller. Well, he's starting hot in the second half like he did in the first. He gets going, man. Watch out. Puts a lot of points on the board quickly. Ray pushes the ball. Look at those numbers right now. Wow. Reddick, a runner off the glass. Pretty shot, and he has his career high at the Smith Center now, right after Doris did a report of 19. And here's Frazier with the answer. Ball in this ball game. 31 turnovers in this game, 19 by North Carolina, a dozen by the Dukies. Reddick, deep, got Are it. Serious? Wow. Are you serious? Where did he shoot that from? That's about a 30 footer. It was closer to us than it was the basket, I'll tell you that much. And he now has a steal and a breakaway. Five straight points for Reddick. Ah, oh, what a superstar. What an All-American. We'll see you on Saturday night. Mr. Morrison, that thing's Bucknell, Penn. Five-point lead, Dick. 
It's amazing. Terrific job. 22-point turnaround. Reddick knocks down a three when Duke desperately needs one. Boy, how big is that? That's why he's a National Player of the Year candidate. 27 for J.J. Reddick. Last touch by Duke out of bounds to North Carolina. What a great effort by the kids from North Carolina. A lot of young kids could have folded when they were down 17. Look at J.J. Reddick. He's just going to get this on his own. That's his third three of the night, the 406th of his brilliant shooting career. He's close, closing in on Staples. Yes, he is. Right. North Carolina has come all the way back from a 17-point deficit. They led by as many as five until J.J. Redick got involved. One general manager in the NBA said he's got the stomach of a thief. He meant it as a compliment. Here's why. Money shot. He doesn't know the difference. The first time he knew he was going to be a Duke player, guys, seven years old. One of the most memorable shots in all of college basketball. Christian Leitner beating Kentucky. He walked into his parents and said, I'm going to Duke. They shrugged it off, not recognizing his will, guys. That's not bad. He committed to Duke after his sophomore year. First time I heard about him was from Howard Garfield, the guru of Five Star Camp. He said, we got this kid in our camp. You should flat out see him shoot the jump shot. He's the best free throw shooter in ACC history. You don't expect him to miss these. He's got 28 now, which puts him on his average. 29 can tie the game at 71. And he does. We're even for only the second time tonight. 71 apiece with 3.35 to play. Show the Williams the landlord. So thou shalt not enter thy lane. Neil Everett and Scott Van Pelt are waiting on Sports Center with two minutes left in this game. Mr. Van Pelt's happy. His touch got to win. Reddick for three again. How big is that? How big is that trifecta? The Rose Racers stepped up solid gold all American. 79-75 as J.J. Reddick hits his fourth three-pointer, none bigger than this one. What a big-time performer, one of the greatest shooters of all time. My friends, it's been a thrill for me for four years to call the games of this kid because he just plays and plays and plays. He's got a big heart, plays with passion. 32 for Reddick. Looked like he was going to have kind of a down game. He had 11 points very early in the ball game. Then he went from the 11-25 mark of the first half all the way to halftime without another field goal. Here he comes in the second uh -huh. half showing his stuff. Oh, just unbelievable. He loves having the basketball at the end of the game. He really responds in such a positive way. And he's proof of four years in college how you can develop to become more than just a jump shooter. Some time off the clock, manage the clock. Wallace looks over briefly at Coach Krzyzewski. They go to that foul lane. This is the guy whose hands you wanted in. Yes, sir. You want to get him on the free throw line if you do. He fades away for three, and he got another one. Right on. How good is he? How good? He's got a smile on his face. 35 wow. points for J.J. Reddick. And I smile, too. Jay was right. Jay said, fact the fiction, he'll get 30 tonight. He might get 40 before it's over again. 35, and he's got wow. five threes. Here he is right now, goes around the back, fades, shoots the J, nothing but nylon. His 40-point game against Virginia is a thing of a classic. 13 shots. Think about that. 13 shots. Well, what a night he's having. That's and this too. has been a tough place for him, as Doris documented earlier. Well, now he's got... More than twice as many as he's ever had in this building before. Isn't it amazing how Duke always seems to find a way to survive? And one of the reasons? Right here. J.J. Reddit. Speak about all the things you want, but they respond with big plays. And this kid is the number one option. That smile too, man. That smile too, if I had that stroke. Dice it. Yes, sir. Swallow Williams with a free throw. Unless there's a stupid play somehow. Right? And they back away from Frazier, and uh, Duke survives Chapel Hill. Three in a row. They've survived against Western College, Florida State, and now North Carolina. But that's what great teams do, Rob. That's why they're number two in the country. They go to 22-1, and one, still undefeated in the ACC at 10-0. But what a game we saw in the 220th renewal between Duke and North Carolina. 87-83 the final score.
It's been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. J.J. Redick, a sensational performance for Dorisburg. Dick Vitale, our entire ESPN crew. Brad Nessler saying so long from Chapel Hill. Neil Everett and Scott Van Pelt standing by.